Hey everyone, here's a video to help you complete the Explore 3 activity in STEM Scopes entitled Index Fossils, because um, that's what this is about. Uh, if we were face to face, you would be cutting out these strips and doing this with paper, uh, but since we can't do that, we're going to do it in Google Slides instead. Uh, one thing I want you to notice before you begin is that I'm doing this in the editor mode. I'm not presenting it. Um, that is so that you can uh, move things around on the screen. So don't go into present mode this time. You're just going to keep it just like it is when you first open it. And we're going to focus first on the top slide, and then we'll go to the second one. So don't get confused and go down here and be like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, um, because that's kind of common. So don't do that. So start here. And of course, there's instructions. So imagine that these strips are rock, layered rock samples from six dig sites across a wide area. So these are all big, long strips of rock, um, some of which have fossils embedded inside them. Um, see if you can sort them out by turning the strips and lining up the rock layers and pay attention to your fossils. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on this and it's just a it's just like a shape. You know, I notice that there's the handle down here that you can use to turn it. Um, when you put your cursor on it, it'll turn into a plus. So that'll know you you're hitting the right thing. You want to push your click button down, whether it's on a mouse or your touchpad, and you want to swing it up to turn it upright. So just a hint, the uh, handle should always be at the top. Okay, so if you try to do it at the bottom, you might mess yourself up. It's also best to do this with these up and down due to the law of superposition. Otherwise, you won't be able to see which layer is oldest and which one is not. Um, notice that when I have it in this position, I have not let go of the mouse button yet, and it says 0.0, .0 degrees. That tells you that it's exactly vertical. Okay, and then you can let go and you're good to go. And then you can move it over here. So basically your first order of business is just going to be to get all these guys straightened out. And holding down shift will make them uh, snap to zero degrees. It'll make them snap vertical much more cleanly. So I recommend doing that as well. And as you do it, you can just kind of move them out of the way just to get them where they need to be. Do, 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 do. Okay, and some of these are going to be thicker and some of them are really thinner. That's just the nature of dealing with um, rock layers, I guess. So once you have them all more or less right, right side up, and you can click on and make sure that that handle there is at the top of each one, um, then you got to line them up. So then what you're looking at is the background, which is where the, you know, these little flecks or stripes or things are. And you want to try to get them so that you're matching all of the layers that are visible on the strip. And it should be possible to do that. So, you know, you want to match the speckles with the speckles, the stripes with the stripes, et cetera. Now, they're not going to be 100% clean in how they line up. Uh, so you don't have to resize anything. You can just leave it the way it is. But just know that sometimes it's not going to line up perfectly, and that's okay. The main thing is just trying to get it as close as possible. So that's – I'm going to move that one down a little bit, see how that lines up there. Um, we'll take this one. See right about there. I'm gonna pull this one down just a hair so that that lines up better with that layer, and then and so on and so on. So you're gonna do that with all of these. Try to get them where they belong. Um, there you go. So that's what mine look like. So now you got them all lined up. Now you can go ahead and go on to the second one. So when you go to the second one, you see a lot of the same fossils are now shown here on the side, and these are the things that you can move on this slide. Okay, nothing else can be clicked on. You'll notice you can't move anything else. So what you want to do is you want to go back up here and you want to find which fossils of all the fossils shown here are what uh, would qualify as index fossils. So in order to figure that out, you need to read your instructions here. This is once they're lined up, look for index fossils. They are fossils that will be found in multiple samples. That means you can find them in more than one of those vertical strips, but they are always in the same layer. Okay, so if it's in the, the squiggly layer, you never find it in the stripy layer. And if it's in the flecked layer, you never find it in the like gray layer. So when you go up here, I mean, and it's best to start at the top and work your way down. Because again, uh, whatever's near the top is the youngest, whatever's near the bottom is the oldest, and it's best to work from top to bottom. So um, we have this fossil here, but that's just one lonely fossil by itself. So that's not in multiple strips. You cannot use that as an index fossil. But the next fossil we run into is this kind of swervy sea creature, I'm not sure what that is, um, on the gray background. And notice that there are three of them. This strip, this strip, and this strip all have it. Um, but you don't see that same fossil on any of the other layers down here. So that means that is definitely an index fossil. So you want to kind of take note 
of what that looks like. And then you're going to go to your second page, find that fossil in the list, and here it is. And you're going to move that into the top box because that was in the topmost layer that where we found any. Okay, so that's number one. And then you're going to do that again. You're going to come back here and you're going to look down to the next layer. Like, okay. So now I see there's this kind of corkscrew thing, but there's some other things in there. It's okay that there are other fossils in there. The key is, does this fossil appear in any other layers? And as I scan down, I don't see it. Okay, so this one must be another index fossil because I see it in two strips, but it's not in any of these other layers on the, all the way down. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to find that one. I think it's this one. Let me back up. Yep, it's this one here, and I'm going to move that into position. Okay, now I'm going to let you guys figure out the last two on your own so that you're doing some of the work here, not just relying on me. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so then when you're done, you're going to have all four of these lined up here, and you'll be ready to go to STEM scopes and answer questions. Uh, the questions that are going to refer to this are questions one through five, I believe. Yes. Um, six and seven ask you to just kind of think about something, you know, like to think through and give an answer from your brain. Um, then there is a CER at the end. Uh, so just do your best with the CER. That one, I'm, you know, I want to see that you know what a claim is, that you know what evidence is, and that you have some kind of reasoning. Um, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be something specific. It just needs to be easy for you to explain. <clears throat> so if you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Um, my office hours, as you know, are from 145 to 2, but I can also make arrangements to meet with you other times if you need to. Um, yeah, so good luck. Let me know how it goes.